we could go on for a whole nother hour Seriously, about the music. About music. music. But since we're short on time, Aww. this is a question back here. We want you to pull out a question. Mm-hmm. I know. I hope you get a good one. Juicy. You got enough. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. 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 <laughs> right. It says, "Are you a good dancer?" I used to be. I used to twerk. What yeah. happened? Really? Yeah, I went to Alabama State, so at that oh, time, okay. yeah. Shout out to Alabama yeah, State. Yeah, it's you, baby. Yeah. HBCU. Right. HBCU. <laughs> oh, Lord. Man, let me tell Hornets. you. Hornets. Uh, but that right, was, so I went to school with um, 2 Chains and his wife, Keisha. Okay. And, yeah. and RB, Playboy Fate. And when I tell y'all, that was the days, man, with Kilo Ali. I bet. Oh, man. Oh, man. I, bet. I used to. Yeah. Yeah, I used to tear the club Are down. Are you still cool with them? Um. I'm cool with his wife. I have not talked to Titty Boy and with Tahid and I don't know how long. <laughs> I'm just so proud of him. Um, RB, yes. I'm okay. really cool with RB. Uh, well, Playboy Fate. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's super dope. So we all came from Alabama State. It was the same time. That's where you learned your dance skills at. Well, you know, it was New Orleans bounce music. Okay. You know? Right. Right. She, it was, it's in her blood. Yeah, twerk, get it. twerk and pee popping. Well, what first we of all, you're Caribbean. Oh, okay. Trinidad and right, Tobago. Trinidad. Yeah, that's yeah. really in your blood. Yeah. 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 That's the original twerk. Yeah. yeah. Like Whining, all that good stuff. Yeah. Y'all, I can't keep up. When we when they play time, soca we music, for a man, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't keep up with the soca. Like, seriously, they go from like morning to night. And I'm like, sweaty. I'm like 40 minutes in and I'm done. My legs are burning. <laughs> My knees <Yeah>. creaking. <laughs> and I work out, but they keep going. I'm like, no. I'm good. All right, let's yeah. pull one more question. Yes. <laughs> this is good. Okay. Hmm, that was kind of boring, though. <laughs> okay. Would you rather see into the future or change something from your past? Mm. Ooh. Staying on topic, I would say I would not change anything from my past. The only thing I would probably move or manipulate a little bit would just be the time frame that I dealt with certain things, including my ex-husband. Um, but I wouldn't change it because it molded me into the woman that I am today. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like like I'm so far ahead than most women that were my age. You know, I feel like I've had a lot more lessons and life experiences and, and I move at a faster pace just because of my experiences at a younger age. So that future part, I would definitely love at this moment to see into the future because y'all it's hard sometimes being a female entertainer. Yeah, it's yeah. real hard for a pimp. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I said, sprinkle me. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's hard. I want to see into the future just to make sure I'm on the right path. Because yeah. I question it a lot and I shouldn't, but it's hard. Yeah. It's hard. It's How about the audience? You got to trust. If y'all had a choice, mm-hmm. would you rather see into the future or change something from the past? Let's get one person. I'll say uh, maybe the future it will help, yeah. but as far I, I'm in the same boat as you, I won't change the past because yeah. I think it makes you who you are, are yeah. and then it can't just, like give you like a little book like if you want to go back and like like oh this is a bad person, <laughs> it's a bad experience. Oh let me just you know that's for me. Yeah. I'll, I'll stick to what it is. All right. Thank you. got a beautiful audience, though. Jeez, them queens over there. (laughs) So we are going to move on to the loft letter. So just so you know, the loft letter is usually an anonymous letter that we get um, in our DMs or in an email uh, about somebody that really needs some help, needs our advice. I have not read it yet, so I have no idea what it's about. Okay. Here we go. Dear Loft P, I'm a 28-year-old a recent graduate living in Houston, Texas. I've been heavily involved with my girlfriend for about two years and we recently moved in together four months ago. She's an elementary school teacher and makes decent money. She does complain from time to time about student loans being a burden on her and I explained I will be able to help in about six months into my new position as a pharmacist. Now, about three months ago, I found out my girl was keeping a secret from me and I'm still trying to deal with this. I found a box full of money in her closet, estimating about 3K. I asked where she got the money from and she told me she had been selling weed, not out of her home, (laughs) but for about a month now and she plans to stop once her student loans are paid off. I don't want my girl to feel like she has to hustle in that way to pay off her debt, but when I, and I told her I would help her but I feel like she went behind my back and I'm struggling with her decision to continue on this way. I don't want to lose her, but I also don't like being in the dark about this kind of stuff. What do I do? Ooh. 
He should have a student loan too. He about to be a pharmacist. Hey, <laughs> right? I know he got a student loan. Look, Shit. Babe, I can use that three k right? right. Um, I don't think it's a deal breaker for me. I do right. think it's something that needs to be addressed. Um, and if anything, going back to the stigma, right? Like, she's hustling that way. I mean. She's almost I mean, like depending track, on what track, state, track. you know, she's well, no, no, yeah. she 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 depending on what state, doing. right? Exactly. Yeah. She could be doing something else, but I really feel like that's the conversation that both of them could could have and make a rational decision to move their relationship forward. I don't think it's anything that will like be a deal breaker, but I get it. If my man tells me within six months, I'm gonna at least give him an opportunity to show me. Yeah. I know she probably felt because you know we're very. Headstrong and right. look, I'm gonna get this anyway. He'll be proud of me because I'll be able to help and contribute. But we gotta let the man be a man, and that's what I've learned over the last couple of years. Was I gotta stop saying no? I got it, or no? Don't worry about it. Because right. from what I gather, men appreciate the feeling of okay, I'm needed by right. Him. You know what I'm saying? So right. if y'all are offering, I gotta do better as a woman. Just say, <laughs> kick it back. It's not on my timing. It's not how I want to do it. But let the man take control. Yes. So, audience, what do you all think? I'll go again. <laughs> but for me, I see it as a two-way street. For me, I feel like she's too, she's independent. And then she doesn't want to, like, um, rely on him mm-hmm. for anything. Because think about it. Somebody tell you in six months, things might actually change again in right. six months. Right. <laughs> and then maybe they're not married, I think, right? They're not married. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they, when they want to come garnish your wages. You're right, girl. I personally would not do that. I would still hustle because I like right. to do it. I would still do it. Facts. If you have, the mo- you have the money to give me, give me cash today. I'll take it today. <laughs> <laughs> so you will hustle and sell the weed? I mean, I wouldn't sell weed particularly because I don't want like <laughs> children. <laughs> <laughs> the show, like, I don't want children to think like that's all the thing you have to do. But okay. it's good to actually have your own yeah. money. Mm. It's in- important because you see, like I have friends that I know that are going through stuff like that, and you you don't have nothing to like see. Like I have money on the You're side right. to yeah. keep going. You right. So you don't want to fall back on. But you just want to keep yeah. going. So. Right. I don't have a solution to it. I just feel like he a square if they live together and he didn't know she's been trapping. You know, like <laughs> he said that he, she, he found a box full of money. What you and did? And she it. said, yeah, yeah like, bro, unless you, they you do square, live together, bro, that makes sense. If you ain't yeah. seen that, how, how did you not know? Like, right. yeah. Yeah. like she been doing that, right? Yeah. Probably before yeah. she met him. Well, three thousand dollars. She ain't been doing it long. Well, it was just three thousand, <laughs> but but know, weed is time. not a big money maker yeah. in the it drug game. It ain't. She working on it though. Well, it's like, not like you connect. gotta be moving pounds you know I mean? to really like, make money selling yeah. weed. If somebody out here selling weed, nickel and diamond, you just asking to get locked Girl, up. Like, it's just not it worth it. No. It's not worth it. Ace My only are issue, twenty five to forty dollars. But we not gonna, okay. That's ten bags. That's, that's nothing. For the, right. So that's why I'm saying three thousand. That ain't nothing. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> My only issue with it, and I'm a wrap. Then we can wrap this up. My only issue with it is that she lied. She yeah. wasn't honest. And so then I would be wondering if I was him, what else is she keeping from me? Yeah. Was she lied or she just didn't tell him the truth? Right. She did it. Omitting the truth and lying is in the same damn boat. Mm. They are people. different. To they are people. different. It might be a cruise ship, though. No, because a man, can, like, well, you ain't a, ass, a man no. cannot <laughs> tell you that he's married and you date him for six months and you never know this man married because you, you didn't ass. ask. Shut that ain't ass. right. Hey, That's a lie. You're, you're living right. a lie. Just talk shit. Hey, look, you got to see when it comes to something. That's a whole other conversation. Right. Because when it comes to something illegal, you can't necessarily tell them, but you got to see what they feel about it. You might be the police. first. You know what I'm saying? You might be the police. First. But before we go, because you are super duper beautiful and i know people are jocking you and and they see you you all over um ready to love on own and you did not find love are you still looking i am still looking so slide in that dm is hot what's your instagram name go ahead and call it out i'm at stormy atl on all social media including stormyatl.com you guys can find me there i love y'all this show is lit list thank you so much for coming when i'm coming back again right please come back come back again i love this wait because you you have some parties and events and cruises and booze is going on yeah actually there's a big uh, live nation dj fest that's going on 
on next Saturday at the Buckhead Theater. You have people like um, DJ Cash that's on 107.9. Yes. You've got DJ Infamous, which is yes. Luda's DJ. Right. You've got Teflon. You've, um, you've got Ace, which is uh, Jeezy's DJ. Okay. You've got myself. you got oh, DJ got Bars, who has right. done. Oh, my God. Carrie Hilson. How did I know this? Right. Got an yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. 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 will be in your entourage. <laughs> <laughs> right. Matter of right. fact, I got one, two, three. Hey. Hey. Right now. hey, okay, hey. we're gonna be right there too. Please, right. okay, yeah. and we appreciate. Oh wait, and a pool party. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, we're the pool party. The pool party. Oh, that's next Sunday. So, okay. So after the party, y'all gonna have a little bit of sleep, and okay. then we're gonna have a pool party. Yeah, I'll send y'all the link. It's twenty five dollars okay. to get in. Please, yes. um, we are kind of doing it right there in Buckhead, okay. in a little mini mansion. It's private. We don't want to have it too many people. So, okay. Okay. but it's going down. We it's got lit. DJ. We got yeah. liquor. Liquor sponsors. Tito's. Hey. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, so it's live. going down. So All make right. sure y'all follow her, DJ Stormy ATL. Stormy ATL hey. by itself. Okay. And we appreciate Thank you y'all. for coming, even though you did not drink with us today. No, the That's pleasure right. is mine. <laughs> y'all, I've been working out hard. I've been traveling for the last two months, literally. On Monday, no, Tuesday, it was the first time I unpacked both of my suitcases. I know uh, you had to do Essence. I know you nice. had yeah. to shut it down. Yeah, I was in Essence, and I worked every single night, Wednesday awesome. to Sunday. Awesome. Like, literally. Blessings. It was no... Yes, blessings. No. Blessings. <laughs> Trying to do coming. it for the Phoebe. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. So we'll be That's catching right. you with your next event and everything else you have going on. Keep us Thank updated. Thank y'all so much. Yes. Man, black girl yes. magic. Yes, we want to cheers to you, hot mama. One, two, three. We go, Love P. One, two, three. Love P. Hootie hoo.